Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is my ninth CPAC. And the reason I keep coming back to CPAC, despite the protests from MatchLab, <laughs> is that I believe the fate of our nations are inextricably linked. In fact, I've made somewhat of a fashion statement about it. The fates of our nations are inextricably linked, not just through history, but right now in the present, when you have the attempted nullification project that is going on here, that is led by Antifa and George Soros and CNN. They're trying to nullify what you guys chose in 2016. And in the same time, in the United Kingdom, there is a Brexit nullification project in place. They are trying to do to us, our voices and our choices, the same things they are trying to do to you. Quite. <laughs> One of those voices in the Brexit nullification process, a man you've probably heard something about. He's the, uh, he's the, he's the London mayor. So you've, you, you, you've heard of him. Sadiq Khan. Send a bigger message to Sadiq Khan right now, please. <laughs> Who has spent his first year in office publicly attacking President Donald Trump and spending his time overseeing, heaping up Britain's funeral pyre, overseeing London crime rates skyrocketing, rape up 18%, youth homicide up 70%, robbery up 33%. This is London today under Sadiq Khan, but he's more interested in whether your president attends a royal wedding. <sighs> but there is a man, there is a man, and I believe our fates are intertwined. There is a man who like Paul Revere riding through the night to warn the British are coming, the British are coming. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. There is a man who has rode for nearly 30 years in the face of the European Union and the BBC to scream, the British are leaving, the British are leaving. Let's remind ourselves a little bit of Nigel's journey. His political journey began in Eastleigh in Hampshire, a by-election in 1994. He was UKIP's first ever candidate in their first ever election. The message that the UK Independence Party is giving is a message that has been given on behalf of the British people and is one that they've never ever heard before. I don't support holding a referendum. We don't want that flag. We don't want the anthem. We don't want this political class. I don't think an in-out referendum is the answer. You are bullying, you are threatening, you are anti-democratic, you're a complete shower. We're not having a referendum on in or out of the European Union. The question that I want to ask, that we're all going to ask, is who are you? I'd never heard of you. Nobody in Europe had ever heard of you. I would like to ask you, President, who voted for you? The issue of a referendum is not our view that there should be an in out referendum. I don't want Britain to leave the European Union. Well, Nigel Farage hopes David Cameron will one day eat his words. We await the results of the European elections. If we get what we like, things will, things will never be quite the same again. The UK Independence Party has managed to win over the hearts of the majority of the British public. We will give the British people a referendum. It will be an in-out referendum. My vision is to put this country and the British people first and for us to divorce ourselves from political union and to re-engage with the rest of the world. It is upbeat, it is optimistic, and do you know something? I think we're going to win. And UK is going to be in the back of the queue. The consequences would be negative. What comes first, World War III or the global Brexit recession? What I think they really mean is they just don't think we're good enough. What I do. Give us a beat for Brexit. 
Hey! That's it. Give us a beat for Brexit. Our leaders don't believe in the country. You know, and we can run our own country and we can control our own borders. Ladies and gentlemen, we're calling time on Britain's membership of the European Union. <laughs> this is one vote that really will change things. So go out, vote for your country, vote with your heart and do it. The wait is over. Brits head to the polls today to decide their future if they choose Brexit to leave the European Union. In or out, it is too late to change your mind now. Dare to dream that the dawn is breaking on an independent United Kingdom. And Sky News is projecting that the UK has voted out. We've done it. It's Independence Day. The ordinary decent people of this country have overturned the establishment. There are 17 million people that voted for Brexit. It's a victory for ordinary people. June the 23rd needs to become a national bank holiday and we will call it Independence Day. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's Mr. Brexit, Nigel Farage.